Hello and welcome to Travel Chef. Today we have got around 2 kilos of Mosambi and we thought of making wine out of this. So let's see how to make this wine. And this is made by once again by Mama who is going to do this now. Say hello mommy. Hello. <laughs> so let's see how to make this wine. So mommy, how many kilos of Mosambi are we taking? To make our wine. Two kilos of Mosambi. We have now removed the skin of the Mosambi as well as we have removed the seeds too. That we have broken and the most important ingredient is one teaspoon of yeast. Now we are going to introduce a, a new winemaker which is a glass jar which we have bought recently to make a wine and this is, has, is a having a capacity of five liters. So going forward, we'll be making a delicious wine in this winemaker. We have peeled into the winemaker. For a 2 kilos of sweet lime or Mosambi, we have got 3 kilos of sugar, which we will be dropping it into the winemaker. The next step is to pour the water. We have used clean and distilled and cooled water, which we need to mix it to make a wine. Now we have added the 3 liters of water and next we are going to stir it a bit before adding the next set of ingredients. We are mixing the ingredients to melt the sugar a bit before adding our rest of the ingredients and spices. The next step is to add the cardamom. and the cloves and finally the cinnamon sticks that we have broken and the last is the we are going to add one teaspoon of yeast this is the main catalyst that helps in the fermentation of the wine now we need to stir all these ingredients together use a wooden spatula to stir the wine water will cause the wine to get spoiled the final step is to close the lid of the wine and we are going to keep it in a cool and dry and dark place. We are going to stir it every day and we will show you the fermentation process. And cover the wine maker with a lid or with a cloth but please don't close it too tight. One more tip is please do not fill the jar to the brim because there should be some space in between. Now we are stirring the wine. This is the first week of stirring the wine. Our sweet lime wine is ready and it has been 21 days and we are going to strain our wine. Now our wine will be stirred with a clean and dry spatula. So we stir the wine just to ensure all the ingredients are mixed up together so that we can strain all, these ingre all the ingredients that we have added in the wine. Now we have finished stirring our wine. Next we are going to strain it. Before we pour our wine onto the strainer, we should ensure that the strainer is clean and dry along with the vessel that holds the strainer to needs to be clean and dry. Else the wine might get spoiled. Now we are pouring our wine into the strainer. Now we have poured it. You see all the sediments of the lime, sweet lime is getting caught on the strainer. Now this is a strained wine and this we need to pour it into a bottle. Now we have got a wine bottle over here along with a funnel. So please ensure that there is no drop of water on either the glass that you fill you have to take the wine and fill it in the bottle. Now we slowly start filling the wine. Now we are, now we are filling it into the bottle. Please ensure that you don't fill the bottle fully to its brim because the yeast is uh, still working and, uh, the, and there's a chance that the bottle might break because of the fermentation that happens. We fill the bottle almost three-fourth its quantity. We have filled almost three-fourth of the bottle and we have left some space for fermentation. However, we will have to keep it for some time till the uh, fermentation happens. Well, we have got 
at least five bottles of wine from uh, from a Mosambi. Sorry, Rosmi. No. We got around five bottles of Mosambi wine from the two kilos of Mosambi. And we hope you like watching our videos. And also we have, we hope you have learned how to make Mosambi wine. Please share these videos with your friends. So if you like our videos, please like, share and comment on those videos. This will really help us to improve our programming content and the future recipe videos that we make. Also, please don't forget to hit the bell icon for future notifications. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until the next video, stay safe and see you soon. Bye-bye. Cheers.